Hi guys, welcome back. Apple's new software has finally been showcased, and the thing here is that this new version does have support even for the iPhone 6s series. That's like a long run for the 6s, and I feel this is what Apple is best at. They do provide very long term support, and here in this video, let's check what are the new features in iOS 14 and how it's running in the iPhone 6s. Now before getting into any stuff, please note this is not a public release and also it's just a first beta version so things are probably going to be very buggy and this is not something that you should install in your primary device and if you're planning to do it, I'll never recommend that. So now back to our topic and yeah, as you can see, this is my 6s and I've already installed the first beta of iOS 14 here and if you're wondering how much big the download was, well it was approximately 3.66 TB. I've been testing the update in this 6s for about a day and what I'm actually most surprised is how well iPhone 6s is running iOS 14. This is a 5 year old phone but still everything seems to be pretty smooth. So now let's check the new features and the first one is the widgets on the home screen and the new customization. Well here this is one big visual change and what has happened is that the widgets have been totally redesigned. In iOS 13 you could add widgets to the side screen but those widgets were not resizable. But now even though the side screen is still there, it's more customizable. You get the option to choose different size for each widget and now they can be moved from the side screen to the home screen. This is like a fresh setup because here you can customize the home screen with the apps you like and also maybe add widgets in between. And the most interesting widget available is the smart stack widget. So it's like a selection of things you rely the most. For example, if you check weather a lot, then that will be displayed when it's needed and it will automatically change to something else like maybe the reminder when it's time to remind you something. So this is like making your phone feel new and here in the iPhone 6s, this is running without any issues and also the great thing is that Apple didn't tone down this feature in the 6s. The second new feature is App Library. Well, App Library is like an organized page for all the apps installed. This section is located at the extreme right screen and here all the apps installed are sorted based on categories. The top two section is suggestions and recently added apps and then everything is sorted based on the app type. So that's all neat but the best part here is that you can search an app you need and when you click the search option, all your installed apps are shown in a list view in alphabetical order. And from here you can find the app you need by just typing the app name or you can scroll through and find the one you need. So these two features is basically redesigned to the way we navigate through the home screen and yeah, I feel things are made much more easier and actually the same thing is done with the third new feature which is comeback calls. This was something that Apple should have done long time back. And yeah, what it is is that whenever you get a voice call or internet call, instead of taking the whole screen to show the call, thereby interrupting what you're doing, now in iOS 14, it's going to be a compact card form popping up in the top portion of the screen. And in that, you actually have the option to answer or decline the call. And also, if you swipe up the card, the call notification will stay hidden in the background and you can open it by clicking this icon. It's a great feature and again, this is like providing improved user experience. Then the fourth new thing is something Android users are very used to a long time back and that's picture in picture. And what picture in picture does is that when you're watching a video and you want to quickly check something else, you don't have to pause the video or close the app, but instead you can continue watching the video by clicking this icon which pops the video out into this small mobile window and that can be resized or even can be pushed to the side of the screen. This is a very handy feature and at the moment it works in apps like the Apple TV and Safari. And also by the way, picture in picture does work while you're on a FaceTime call. And again, you're also, I'm really glad Apple didn't skip this feature with the 6s and here as you can see, this works flawlessly in the 6s. So now to the fifth new feature and that's improvements to Apple Maps. Well, this is something that's not useful in India because Apple Maps is not established here, but in the US and other countries that has better support, you now get cycling directions, electric vehicle routing, etc. Then the sixth new feature is Translate. That is a dedicated Translate app pre-installed in iOS 14 and it has support for 11 languages and the app actually works pretty fast and here you can actually do translation even when offline if you have downloaded the language you prefer for translation. Here if you turn the phone to landscape, a mode called conversation mode is activated which makes things easier by providing a simple interface. And also you can even save translations into favorite tabs for easy access later. And even translation is available in Safari too. So this is like a handy feature and it's good now that we have this translate feature inbuilt into the OS. Until now from all this, you might be thinking that some of these features were present in Android long time before and that's true, but it's good Apple is adding such new features. The seventh new feature is improvements to Safari. And in that, the main highlight is that Safari is now claimed to be more responsive and also it does provide better privacy. Here for privacy, Safari should warn you if a password you're using is not secure and we now get a new privacy report. Just click the tracking report option and in that you can get an overview of how many trackers were prevented and how many websites contacted trackers and so on. This is not very polished or functional in this first beta but by time of release, 
this will be perfected and it's going to be a very handy feature too. So now to the eighth new feature, which is App Clips. This feature is also not yet functional, but what this feature does is that for apps which the developers integrated this feature into, well with those apps, you don't have to download that apps into the phone, but instead when you're in need of a specific app for a thing like riding a bike or ordering food, you can make use of App Clips, which is a very small size version of those specific apps. Then just use it for that purpose and it will be automatically deleted in 30 days of not using it. So you don't have to clutter your home screen with apps that you don't use regularly. Then the ninth new feature is recording indicator. This is a privacy feature and here with this feature, whenever our app uses your microphone or camera, this indicator will appear. This is a great privacy feature to give us a heads up when an app is using our phone's microphone or camera. And now to the 10th new feature and that's changes and improvements to the messages app. There is now pinned conversations which help you to pin the conversation that are more important to you. And then in the group conversation, you can add a group photo and also you can mention a specific member in the group with mentions. And now you can even customize an active group notification so that you'll only be notified when you're mentioned. And even there is an inline message feature in group conversation so that you can reply to a specific message. And also, by the way, there is a new customization option for a Memoji and also there are new Memoji stickers and all these functions work in the 6s. And that takes us to the final feature that we're going to check, which is improvements to Siri. And in that the first thing is Siri gets a new compact design which actually looks sleek and then Siri is said to be more intelligent with better web answers and so on. Now there are more features available here in iOS 14 in which one of the main features that everyone was waiting for has finally been added and that's the ability to change the default apps. But here in this first beta, I couldn't find that option. Then there's more improvements to the home app which I actually don't use. Then there is car key support which can be used to unlock and start your car. But please note that feature is not supported in iPhone 6s and the first car to support it is the 2021 BMW 5 Series. They also made improvements to a lot of their own apps like the camera app which makes taking photos faster but that feature is also not supported in iPhone 6s. Then the next app which received improvements is the health app in which now you get sleep tracking feature and you can customize and set it based on your preference and also better results will be provided if you have an Apple Watch which runs WatchOS 7. The notes also got an update and now it's supposed to be more intelligent and similar updates have been done to the photos app and the reminders app. In the reminders app you can now do quick entry and also smart suggestion is available. Well, there are more minor stuff done but the 12 things that we checked here are the major stuff and in that also some features are not yet functional in this first beta. And yet to be frank this update is surely a great one. I mean even this first beta is working fine and you're considering the fact that this is the oldest device to support this OS and even then this is running the OS without any issues is surprisingly great. But like I said in the beginning, please don't even consider installing this in your main device. And also one main thing to point out is that if you have a 16 GB iPhone 6s like I have, well after I installed the iOS 14 update, the only space left was 2.5 GB without even installing any apps. And that's something I'm looking forward in future updates because if the update size is this big, well then a device which has 16 GB storage is literally unusable after the update. And also one last thing is that if you're wondering about the new wallpapers available, well there are three new ones which has a light version as well as a dark one. That's up for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do hit the like button and also please don't forget to subscribe. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.